All right, what's up guys? Welcome back to Bass Fishing Extreme. I'm Philip. Um, as you can see, the room's kind of disarray right now. Got prepping for a new lake, um, Lake Millwood. My boy Carson actually hit me up and challenged me to fish it for a while, so I'm getting prepped up. Uh, got a couple of new bass jigs, uh, the water clarity and stuff I've been checking on. Of course, till you get there, it's impossible to know. Um, but this is what I usually do. I go through all my jigs, retie everything, check my line all the way down, probably 20, 30 feet. Um, new hooks if needed. If not, trim new baits, set them up. This is my setup box for the front of my box. This would be the first baits that I change to in each category and technique I use. Jigs, I'll have two. Uh, soft plastics will be prepped and ready so I can immediately change no matter what. Uh, gonna get to a good piece of cover, throw it a couple times, have to get a bite. I know there's fish there. I'll go to switching colors. Um, other than that, I've got some new range tails, got a couple space monkeys, some big worms, some new peg stops. My old peg stops were for eight to 12 pound line. Be careful guys, it's highly important. You see what size peg stops you get for your Texas rigs because it will determine whether that 3 16 or above weight slides and slips on you. You don't have to use two of them. Um, coming up fall time of year, I'll show you that I rarely use pegs and explain why. Just want to say hi guys, check in, let y'all know we're heading to Lake Millwood in the morning. Good luck.